Today we're going to kill three stones with one bird, even though two of them are the main focus. We're going to talk about recurve and flexible blades, and I'll throw in some hints about blades with um, low height, such as this one. The reason for doing this in one video is that you often get uh, fillet knives that have a, a recurve and are flexible. Uh, my fillet knife doesn't have a recurve, but uh, and I have this old boning knife that is not that flexible but I can still show the principle of a flexible knife um, so I have a couple of flexible knives that I do use but I'm, I'm going to show on this one because um, it will not make any difference in the movie that it's not as flexible as a common fillet knife I'm going to show two methods the first one you'll recognize from an earlier video perhaps uh, I'm using some dishwashing fluid for lubrication or dish soap uh, and I'm going to do the the pen the pen and sandpaper sharpening trick and I'm going to treat this basically as two knives where I sharpen the recurve part in one stage and then in the second stage I sharpen the flat of the knife if you do it this way, I would do both sides with sandpaper first, but I'll show sandpaper on one side and the other method on the other. So this is just like the bread knife. You have to look the angle of the knife or the edge and sharpen as so as such. The paper I'm using here is a 400 grit Renoet paper. But I've done this with the yellow sanding paper that I happen to have in my shed, so it's not that important. And it's already developing a small burr, so this is rather quick. And there we have a small, small burr for the recurve. <coughs> for the other method then, the other method is to do it with whetstone and this is this requires perhaps a bit more of an investment <clears throat> so I have my stone holder and a wood block to get some elevation and then I have my old soaking stones which as you can see have been rounded off on one side and this has been a very useful thing to have so but still you need to <laughs> you need to do that on your stone and I've done that with my diamond lapping plate. This is an Atoma 140. Uh, the method for doing it this way is to just sharpen the recurve on, on the radius on the side of the stone. Due to there being just a just just a little contact with the stone, it might be easier to only do pushing strokes, as it will be very easy to cut into the stone if you misangle it just the tiniest bit. But now there's a burr, so now the recurve part is done. Now comes the sharpening of the rest of the knife, and as I said, I'll treat this part of the knife as a regular knife. The problem with sharpening flexible blades is that you throw off the angle if you bend the blade. <clears throat> so what I do is that I place two fingers like this and I only sharpen the parts beneath the fingers and then I move the fingers along as I sharpen different sections of the blade. By doing that I can maintain a straight blade under my fingers at least. <clears throat> the second problem with these blades is that since they are so small, at least for me, I think it's hard to estimate the angle. So I, I need to be a bit more careful with actually looking at the angle on the stone because the height above the spine or the elevation of the spine is really low. But let's go.
now there's a burr on, on this side as well. So <clears throat> only thing left to do is to remove the burr. And then you can decide if you want to go on with, with a new stone. This is a 500 stone and I prefer to do fast cutting stones because <laughs> I don't enjoy sharpening these knives as much so <laughs> I want to do it quickly. Apart from what I showed you here, you do the sharpening exactly as you would do any normal knife. The only difference is that you either use the sandpaper here or that you use the side of the stone for the recurve. But the procedure is as usual, you develop a burr, you switch side and develop a burr, and then you remove the burr, and then you decide if you want to progress to the next stone or not. Nothing more to it really. Um, biggest problem perhaps is to become comfortable sharpening with a rod or a pencil, and to sharpen on the side of a stone, which can be a bit tricky. <clears throat> 